What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor, hit this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you're going to be notified every time we upload a new video. Now in part 7 of our series of the SSI Open Water Diver Program skill sets, we're going to be looking at all the surface skills that your instructor is going to teach you. But before we get into those skill sets, please make sure you're seeking out proper training before you go out and scuba dive. Do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series for you to learn how to dive. Seek out your local SSI open water scuba instructor to get properly trained. So with that being said, let's jump into the skill set. So the first skill that we're going to review is the tire diver toe or valve toe. You're going to, of course, make sure your buddy's positively buoyant here at the surface. You're going to lay back and simply just hold on to their tank valve and kick. You can either use the flutter kick or the frog kick that we learned in the previous video and, of course, pull them to the exit point. The next one is the push method. This is probably the least liked method from most divers just because it's very hard to control a diver. But in short, you're just going to place their feet on your shoulders. You're going to lay forward and push them in the direction that that you need to go. Um, the last method that we're going to learn, of course, is the side toe, and you're going to see this in the SSI Stress and Rescue program as well, but this is a great method to control a diver and get somewhere very fast if you need to, but you're going to extend your arm down the length of their body, up and underneath, grab a hold of their BC or their tank valve, and then, of course, you can swim sideways. Now, the next skill set that we're going to look at is a cramp removal. We're going to do first a buddy cramp removal. This is where you assist your buddy who's got a cramp and maybe he can't reach his uh, fin tip to get it out and then the second one of course is going to be an independent cramp removal this is where you just stretch your leg out pull back on your fin tip and if you need to massage the calf you can and then of course this is going to help you relieve cramps if you develop them while diving now the next one is going to be a dsmb deployment and of course this is to be used at the surface for additional flotation maybe you have a malfunction in your bc and you can't get positively buoyant or of course you can use it as a signaling device as well and there's several different ways to inflate. You can orally inflate, you can use your second stage to inflate, or simply you can use a low pressure inflator to inflate too, just depending on what type of uh, DSMB you've got. But of course, I'm just orally inflating here. And then once I've got it completely inflated, I can use this as additional buoyancy or additional lift for myself. If I had a malfunction in my BCD, or if I was so far away from, say, the boat or shore, I can signal for help if I need help at any time, simply by inflating the DSMB here at the surface. Now the next skill that we're going to do, of course, is remove and replace your BCD. And this is going to be just like the one we did underwater. We're just simply going to be doing it at the surface. And this is a great skill if, say, you're having to exit onto a boat that the ladder will not hold you with your gear. You can very easily take your gear off and hand it up. And then, of course, when we put it back on, it's kind of the same principle. Maybe you needed to make a an entry into the water where you could not make it with your equipment. So you could jump on, they could hand your gear down, and of course you could put it on. And just like we did underwater, you wanna make sure you remove the left arm first, because when I do this skill, I like to leave my regulator in my mouth. And since my regulator is on the right side, I don't want any type of entanglement uh, issues, and I don't want that regulator being pulled out by removing your left arm first, then your right, you can actually eliminate all those uh, problems. Now, as I stated during our video where we did this under the water, Depending on what type of BCD you have, there may be a couple additional steps there. In a backplate and wing system here, of course, I'm going to have a crotch strap, so it does add a, an additional step that you may not have, say, if you have, say, a jacket-style BCD. Once you completed that, you want to do a quick hose check. In this case, i got four hoses, a primary, a secondary, an inflator hose, and then, of course, a high-pressure hose, just to make sure I didn't get entangled in any way. And of course, the last skill that we're going to finish up here with is weight removal and replace. And depending on what BCD you have, there may be additional steps here, or you may have different mechanisms to release and replace weights. But basically, the purpose here is you can remove and replace weights if you need to adjust them, put them in different places, or add or subtract weights prior to making your descent on a dive. So there you go, guys. That's going to do it for video seven in our series of the SSI Open Water Diver Program skill sets. We really hope this video series has helped you kind of review some of the skill sets if you're already certified or to kind of give you a heads up of what you're going to be learning during your SSI Open Water Program. But please do not use this video nor any of the videos in this series for you to learn to go out and scuba dive. Make sure you're seeking out your local SSI Open Water instructor to get properly trained. But we do have one final video in this series that will be coming out 
where we're just going to be doing a compilation of all the videos. And you can use that video at any time to review the skill sets and review them before you say you go to a pool session just to be able to practice these skill sets as well. But that's going to do it for today's video. Until our next one, take care, God bless, and I'll see you in the next video.